Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the series Free to Play to Max. We are going to be on episode 15, and if you are new around here, this series is about taking a brand new free to play account and building it up into a fully self-sufficient main account that will one day hopefully be maxed. And uh, with that out of the way, let's get into today's episode. So for starters, in the last episode, we made some GP stealing pizzas. And uh, then we did some quests and unlocked some more farm patches. In this episode, we are going to be doing some more quests and unlocking birdhouse runs. So we will need to do, I think it's just one quest actually, the dig site quest? Uh, or maybe bone, bone voyage? I can't even remember, but that is what we are going to be doing in today's episode. So in order to start the dig site quests, we need to get ourselves 100 kudos. So there's a few different ways to uh, get kudos. You can do specific quests and then go share your experiences and adventures with the historian and he will give you a certain amount of kudos. And then the second way is to complete Orlando Smith's natural history quiz, which will give you 28 kudos. And it's really easy, especially if you're on rune light, it'll just highlight the answers for you. And yeah, that'll bring in 28 kudos. And then after that, you can complete the fossil exhibits, giving you a total of 72 kudos. And um, you can also clean finds, which we are gonna need to do to find the amulet anyway. So getting 100 kudos really shouldn't be too hard. Sweet, we are already up to 51 kudos. And it, it's been like 15 minutes. We're just banging this out. Um, so it's actually really easy. All you gotta do is come into the basement, talk to them, and then you uh, study the plaque, pick the right answer, which will be highlighted if you use rune light, and then that will fix the display for them. Once you're done fixing all the displays, you go back and talk to them, and he will give you a thousand slayer and hunter experience. So that is very useful for the early levels. I think it gets you to nine and nine right away. So that, that is super helpful for an account. I would highly recommend getting that done yourself. And uh, yeah, I will be back once we are cleaning some finds. Okay, so I was definitely wrong. Um, you need to finish the dig site before you can even start cleaning finds. So here that is, bringing in a big 15K mining XP. That's actually awesome. 2K Herblore XP as well, geez. We'll take it, we'll take it. And then now we can finally go start finding the dig site pendant. Bringing in a huge 43 mining, that was like three levels. 40 herblower as well. Man, I love doing quests. It gives you so many levels just for free, basically. But yeah, I will be back. Just finished up a farm run here with the new patches. We got ourselves 60 farming, which is very nice. I uh, was gonna start doing Hispori, but I realized that it's 65 farming that you can go in there. But we're gonna finish this one off and real quick just wanna show the profits off because I mean, for being able to do this like every hour, it's definitely how I'm maintaining my bond. Like if it wasn't for farm runs, I probably wouldn't even be able to. But here we go. Nice price check here. Let's see, 246K. I mean, not bad at all. We'll take it. Okay guys, so we're finally cleaning some uh, finds here. Well, I'm attempting to clean some, but I haven't even taken any yet. <laughs> But so yeah, you just come to the museum, you uh, take some specimen rocks, you need to get yourself a, a full outfit from the wall, you need gloves, boots, a trowel, a rock pick, and a brush, I think. And then yeah, you just spam click on the specimen rocks here, get yourself some finds, and then you go over to the table there, clean them off on the table, and then you take, I think there's a few you can go through, there's like an ancient symbol and a few other ones, but you show it to the archeologist, and then he will tell you what, um, display cabinet to put it in then once you put it in there you will get your kudos so yeah hopefully this time around we get ourselves a dig site pendant right away because i mean i remember the first time i did it i spent like a good couple hours trying to find this pendant i don't know if i just had really bad luck or what it was but yeah we're really hoping this time it doesn't happen like that real quick go down in the comments and let me know how long it took you to get your uh amulet for the birdhouse runs because i'm just curious I, I wonder if it was me just having bad luck or i don't know that's just crazy to me i really don't want to spend that long just to get the pendant i mean it's really worth it they are really good for passive income too 
Oh my god, we got it. Dude, we got it on the first inventory. What? I haven't even noticed yet. Dude. I was just talking all that smack and it's it's good. Woo! Let's go. All right, well, that's done. We will be back. We uh, finished off the 100 kudos and finished off getting all the finds. And it turns out we do need to do bone, bone why do I say it like that? Bone voyage, Jesus, to uh, unlock Fossil Island. And I honestly forgot about the stupid part at the end where you gotta steer the damn boat, man. Like, is it just me? I think it's just me, but I, it took me like five times just to drive the boat. Like it, 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 it just didn't make any sense, you know, but we ended up getting it done. We finished off uh, bone, bone, bone voyage. Holy. Okay. So we finished off that and then we got to go do dig site and then we can finally unlock the birdhouse runs. <laughs> it's funny because I kept thinking I needed to do the dig site quest after, but I already did it. So like, I don't know why I kept thinking that, but uh, before you can make your birdhouse runs um, super quick, in total I think they really take like three or four minutes, but before you have access to the mushroom transport system, you have to go to each individual teleport, use it, and then it'll be unlocked. And so yeah, we're just going to do that real quick, got to run over to it by uh, feet the old fashioned way, you know, got to do it manually. But once it's done, it's done forever, and then we don't got to worry about it. So yeah, we just got to come over here, climb up the ladder, cross the bridge. We're going to climb down over here. And um, make sure if you have graceful or full or full stamina, <laughs> yeah, stamina potions that you bring them. Because this is going to be a lot of running. But yeah, so we're just about there. Come on. All right, there we go. So you can see, where is it? Oh, it's a little further up. I'm, I'm crazy. You can see them on the map too. There's the magic mush tree. <laughs> and see, there we go. So we just need to, to use it once and then we can come here whenever we need. All right, so now we need to unlock the other two because there's four all together. So you have to unlock two teleports and there's two birdhouses at each teleport, so. We will go back to the house on the hill, I think. Um, no, I guess we're gonna run. Oh, right, there's a little rowboat we can take over there. Okay, so real quick, we'll do that. You gotta come over this way, past the Fossil Island crabs, I think they're called. You take the rowboat, you travel to that little island that has a bank on it. Oh, damn, auto-retaliate. There we go, we row out to sea. I just used the bank because I've, I've never used this bank actually, so it's kind of cool. Now we're gonna travel on the boat again, and we are going to row to the camp. And then from the camp, we got a little bit of a run. It's not too bad though. All in all, getting the teleport teleportations unlocked really doesn't take too long, but here we go drinking that stamina up even though kind of a waste staminas are expensive these days holy but so as you can see they're just over here you have to go all the way around i i tried to take a shortcut but uh my recording actually cut off like just about here too so um sorry all right so we are gonna do a quick birdhouse run for you guys so you can see just how fast they are I think it really, like it took me like two and a half minutes or something like that. And uh, I forgot to record the first couple, so we're already on like 18 Hunter, I want to say. 20 Hunter, okay. So the first few birdhouses, you start on normal, then you go to Oak and then Willow, but you'll fly through the levels. It's, it's crazy, honestly. So we got the 20 Hunter, and the timer is at two minutes so far, and I mean, I looked at my... Uh, hunter thing to see how long until the next bird houses and stuff like that so i mean you could shave off a couple seconds but two minutes every hour that's some good money honestly and uh you get birdhouse uh birdhouse uh not birdhouses what am i trying to say here 
You get the bird nests. Jeez. But yeah, you get bird nests and they have seeds in them and they have a chance at making even more money. So definitely really good for your account. And the beginning hunter levels are so slow that it's just not even worth it. But yeah, here we go. We're at the last birdhouse here. And it's been 2 minutes and 50 seconds. Closing it up with 22 hunter. It's not bad. This is where I'm going to end the episode for this week. Um, we got some nice quests done. We finally unlocked birdhouse runs. And we made some good hunter gains. And then yeah. So in the next episode. We are going to be doing some more quests. Surprise surprise. And uh, we are going to start off Slayer. So that we can start getting some even bigger gains in on the account. But yeah. I will see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>